I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Break gun on safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it. Hey y'all, it's Kasia, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I did this versatile quick weave install. I'm using three bundles of hair from Ali Pearl. It's Body Wave 24 inches. I did do leave out all around, so that's how we got the versatile look. But let's get started with the washing. I'm not gonna lie, the hair came and it smelled really funny. So I'm like, yeah, I need to detox this hair. So I'm using some clarifying shampoo. Make sure the shampoo that you're using is clarifying because you want to get the hair really, really clean to get whatever it is that they use in the factory off of the hair and get any type of smell or, you know, whatever off the hair. You need to make sure it's clarifying and not like a moisturizing or something. So I pretty much made the water as hot as I could stand it and soaked the hair two times and then washed it as normal. So for my actual hair, we're just starting out with the leave out. I'm going to make, I'm doing a side part. So I'm going to part my hair into a side part. Then I'm going to part leave out to cover one side and then leave out to cover the other side. And then I'm going to do leave out around the perimeter as well. And then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this shit differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do What I do And it's time Okay, so I forgot to record some parts of the braid down, but basically I'm just braiding it as flat as I could get it. My hair is pretty thick and long, so just try to braid it as flat as you can. And I just bring the end of one braid into the next braid and do that all the way. I do it on one side and then I do it all the way on the other side until I meet in the middle back. And then I go ahead and use the crochet hook to crochet the end of that last braid underneath all my braids. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting my stocking cap on. I prefer to use a black one, especially if you're doing dark colored hair. But you can use like a nude or light colored one if the hair is light colored. Um, so I'm just using a white coloring pencil to outline the where my leave out is versus where my hair is. So that when I put the liquid cap, which is this product right here. When I put the liquid cap on top, I can make sure that I don't accidentally get any on my leave out. 
So I'm basically just painting that on with a little brush and I'm making sure that I cover all of my hair that's going to get glue on it because this liquid cap keeps glue from seeping through your cap and when it's time to take it out all you have to do is put your head under some water and the whole thing literally will just slide off kind of like a wig or like a half wig so now that it's done i'm just gonna let it dry and then i'll start my gluing process the gluing is kind of similar to like if you were to be doing a traditional sew-in install only difference is it's glued in also um i usually it's usually hard for me to get three bundles of hair in my head so i did want it to be really full and get all those bundles in so the two bundles i did double those on my sewing machine you don't have to do that but i just want to let y'all know that i did that to make sure i got all the hair in but i'm just going across back and forth gluing the tracks and then once i get like further up I'll do more tracks on the side where my bang is and then I'll even it up and then I'll close it out. Nothing here for me. Yeah. I got to go I fly away to a new space. Okay, so once I got to the top, I decided I wanted to add a couple blonde tracks. Um, I would recommend doing tracks that's long as your weave, but that's just what I had in the house with me. So that's what I used. I wasn't like going out and buying anything or, you know, I just used what I had, you know, for a little razzle dazzle. So I did do two tracks on each side of my leave out and then I just. Filled the rest in with the rest of the black hair that I had. And I did use all three of the bundles that they sent me. You stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You sometimes you fall. Okay, so now that I'm done gluing in all the tracks, I am going to go ahead and cut off the access cap that I had around the rest of the perimeter of my hair. And then I'm going to begin styling it. So I did add a few layers to the front of my hair just to kind of even out where the um, short blonde hair was and like where my leave out is going to be too. 
Um, and then I took out my leave out braids and I hot combed them first and then I flat ironed them and then I went through and curled my whole entire head. Yeah, sometimes I Okay, so now I'm about to show y'all how you could wear the versatile quick weave. Um, I'm just pulling it back into a bun and then I'm going to like spin around so you can see the full view of how my hair is covering all the tracks. You could wear it up. It's real similar to a, tr um, a versatile sew-in, but it's way quicker and I feel like it's better because some people don't want to keep their hair in for months at a time. And it's just a quicker alternative. Don't want to take it slow. Just want to let you know. Ready to spend some time. I want to spend some time. Needed some time to grow. Just want to let you know. Ready to spend some time. I want to spend some time. Ready to so lastly, I'm going to be using some spritz to slick my baby hair and edges down. Um, I use spritz because it doesn't get greasy or it doesn't cake up and your hair doesn't curl up. I just like the hold. It's just all around better to me to do than edge control when you're doing like soft styles like a sew-in or a quick weave or something like that or like a ponytail. It's better than using edge control so this is pretty much it for the look give me a thumbs up comment if you have any questions and make sure that you all are subscribed if you like the hair i'm gonna leave all the specs and the link in the description bar below thanks for watching bye Love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can't go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that ass so low. Make you sit right here.